Hey everyone, in this video we are taking a look at external microphones, iPhones, and how to use them together with Video Ninja. I get a lot of users who have fancy lightning based microphones. They connect it to their iPhone, then load up Video Ninja in Safari, and it doesn't work. Either it's not listed, or they select the microphone and it defaults back to the internal microphone. That's frustrating, I get it. If you're in a hurry, uh, my quick recommendation is to try a microphone with a TRRS output and then use a, an official Apple 3.5 to lightning adapter, an official lightning 3.5 to lightning adapter. When you use those two together, it should work with Video Ninja, fingers crossed. Now I'm going to spend the rest of the video uh, demonstrating it and uh, explaining the nuances and why this is happening. Uh, so stay tuned. Now I'll preface by saying we're taking a look at the iPhone 14 and older in this video. iPhone 15 and newer were mandated by the EU to use USB-C instead. I don't have one, so I can't uh, provide any testing on that front. Now, since Apple got rid of the 3.5 millimeter headset jack on their phones uh, many years ago, companies making accessories for the iPhone now generally need to either use Bluetooth or Lightning. Now these Lightning plugs have a little chip in them that when you plug them into your iPhone, tell the iPhone what the device is. Apple expects companies making Lightning devices to get them registered with Apple. I believe that's a licensing fee involved there. Uh, so the cost of these devices go up as a result of the licensing fee. When buying a Lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter or a Lightning microphone, uh, you will want to pay the premium for a licensed device. I purchased three of these 3.5 to Lightning adapters and uh, beyond the official Apple one, only one other brand actually worked. Uh, the other brands, which were only four and five dollars to buy, did not work. The Ugreen brand um, did work. It was $21 Canadian. The official Apple Lightning adapter was $9 Canadian on Amazon. Uh, but the non the non-certified ones were you know, $4 Canadian. But they did not work. Uh, they might have worked in some native apps, but they did not work within Safari. Now, when you're looking on Amazon or AliExpress for one of these devices, they might claim it's certified, but often or not, they're not, they're, they're counterfeit. Uh, so you're going to have to, you're going to want to go to the Apple website, type in the model number or brand and check to see if it's actually certified. Now that alone is not sufficient. Unfortunately, having simply a certified lightning adapter does not solve the problems we're having here. When you do go to the Apple website and you type in the lightning device, it's going to not only say whether it's registered, but also what it's registered as. Some, some users have reported that their devices were registered with Apple, but they were appearing as a gaming device. Now the Ugreen device that worked for me was registered as a headset or headset device. So it was a communications device while the other uh, audio equipment that was available, very expensive equipment, mind you, was being listed as a gaming device, not as a headset, not as a communications device. Now that is, uh, I think, I can't say for sure, but I think part of the issue as well here. When you're dealing with Safari, Video Ninja, uh, for example, the browser, Safari, it's expecting the microphone to be a communication device. It's expecting a headphone and a microphone component together. It will ignore auxiliary audio devices. It will ignore microphone only devices. And it will probably as a result, ignore non-registered devices. And I'll demonstrate that all here. Uh, here is a wireless lav mic. It's currently connected. I got this on Amazon for about 20 bucks. So I can pretty much rest assured that it's not a, a registered lightning adapter. It did not claim to be either. Uh, and this is such a generic device um, 
that's cloned on mass that it wouldn't surprise me if it's not. Now it does have a lightning USB-C and 3.5 millimeter adapter, which is great. I love the flexibility of that. Let's start by plugging it in to our iPhone 7 uh, via lightning. Uh, upside down. And we'll click on share your microphone. And we will see that although the microphone is paired, it says iPhone microphone, no audio as another option, but no headset option. There's no secondary microphone. So Safari is not listing this microphone as a source, even though we're connected via lightning. Now, here we have the official Apple adapter. And here we have the microphone. We connect it over 3.5. We connect it. We're going to refresh the page and try again. And again, it also does not work. Now, despite the fact we're using an Apple official Apple adapter, it's still not working. Uh, so why is that? Now, if you look at the microphone, it's a TRS output. So that's three poles and a headset is actually four poles with TRRS. This wireless microphone did come with an adapter for TRS to TRRS. So we'll connect that here and we can see that it's four poles. You can buy these adapters online also for a few dollars. They often come with a uh, headphone and mic input port and they connect to a TRRS output then. Uh, this one just comes mic to TRRS. So let's connect that to our Apple adapter here and let's see what happens. We're going to refresh. Make sure the mic's on. Share your microphone. Allow. And we see that the audio source is now listed as a headset microphone. And the iPhone microphone, the internal one, is not selected, but it's shown. So we have two microphones we can choose from. The headset is selected by default. So that shows that we need a communications device as an input, in this case, a headset. You need to think we have a headset connected at the very least and not just a microphone. So what we've demonstrated is using a unlicensed lightning port probably will not work. Not only does it have to be licensed, but it also then needs to be treated as a communications device, a headset device. I don't know if the registered status on the Apple website for what these lightning ports are matters, whether it's registered as a gaming device versus a headset device. However, people have pointed out that devices that were registered as a gaming device did not work. While this official Apple one and the Ugreen uh, adapter I've used in the past are headset devices and they work when you connect headset inputs. Knowing that, that opens up a lot of opportunity for us. Um, for example, we have a MKH XLR microphone here. This is a shotgun microphone for professional use. And I have it connected to a Ceremonix Smart Rig uh, XLR preamp with XL, uh, phantom power. It outputs to TRRS, which is great. We can connect that to our line out, or to our microphone adapter our Apple adapter and connect that to lightning. Let's refresh the page, choose your microphone, allow. Shows up as a headset device. And now I can speak into it and we're getting levels. So we can now connect professional audio gear to our iPhone and only need to invest the eight or $9 Canadian for whatever it might be in your country for this official 3.5 to lightning adapter. Now, when you do buy one of these adapters, you want to make sure that it supports line in or mic in. It needs to be smart enough to know the input uh, kind of signal. Sometimes they only work with mic. Sometimes they work with line or mic only. Uh, as well, um, this device, if you're interested in using it, uh, it does have phantom power. However, if you're connecting like a dynamic mic, like an SM7B, 
it has a pretty bad signal to noise ratio, you would probably want to use a mic preamplifier like a cloud lifter in line um, with the, the microphone. And in that case, it will add an additional 25 dB of gain, allowing your, your device to get clean signal out. So we've now demonstrated that you can select, you can pretty much add any analog microphone to an iPhone. If it had a 3.5 millimeter headset, headset port built into the phone, like my uh, Pixel Android here, you wouldn't need to, to buy anything additional. You just connect the line in. Uh, but eight or nine dollars for the official Apple one isn't a bad deal. Um, pretty exciting. Now, in terms of just recommendations going forward here, uh, I would advise against buying any lightning based audio accessory if it only has lightning output. Not only is lightning becoming deprecated, but we've now demonstrated how um, challenging it can be at times to use. There's, there's a lot of rules involved perhaps on how they can be used. When you have an analog input, uh, you have a lot more control. There's no sort of gatekeeping um, by these platform owners to tell you how you can use the device, whether it's licensed or not. You can simply get a simple analog to digital converter and then connect to anything you want. So that's that's my first recommendation, is simply to avoid lightning-only devices. And I'd probably extend that to USB-C as well. I'd probably recommend uh, avoid getting a USB-only device and make sure any sort of digital device you have you buy also has a line out on an analog output option. So this wireless mic here has USB-C, lightning and line out. So we have a lot of flexibility on options. So that's about it any longer. And I'll start ranting about Apple. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful. If you have comments, drop them below or hit me up on discord at discord.video.ninja. Bye guys. Thank you.